Hello, this is Karelian with part 13 of my XCOM Enemy Within The Long War. Um, we're playing on Brutal Difficulty and last time it definitely got brutal. Um, we went down to Brazil where we lost half our squad. It was one of the worst missions I've done in a long time in any XCOM scenario. So. We're going to go into Nigeria, where we're going to look at moderate difficulty. We're going to go back to a little bit more of the basics of not um, leaving people left hanging. And we're going to take this out. Now, we started to run into problems where we did not have enough people. So, we did see, we look and we see that a lot of our people have gone back onto active duty. Uh, we still have a ton of wounded. Some out for as much as another month, in the case of uh, our Rocketeer here. But we do have a lot that have come back in, and we do have some um, rookies that are going to be showing up in a couple of days as well. So we're going to take our officer um, as our primary person. Uh, we'll take our main medic. Um, we don't have Elvira back yet. We're going to take a scout because we want to get some diversity. Uh, we'll grab an assault. Uh, we'll grab our engineer. He has some pretty good stuff, and he actually apparently has leveled up. Hollow targeting or sapper? More damage to the violent environment. Um, we're gonna go with hollow targeting. Giving plus giving a uh, plus 10 allies aim against an enemy can be vital. Um, so we're definitely going to go with that. I don't know why I just hit I'll tab there. We just, anyways, uh, we're going to go back. We have our engineer. Continuing on, we see... We'll take our main rocket here, because why not? And then, who else do I want to bring? We'll bring uh, infantrymen, because infantrymen are awesome. And da 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 da. We'll bring another sniper. Um, looking at that, even with uh, with our many people back, we're still running into problems with how many people we want to bring. Um, okay, we have one person who has an extra kit. That's really not who I want to have. First of all, for you. I'm going to take your loadout, and eh, we'll stick with that. Um, do I really want a sniper to be the person carrying that? I guess we will. Um, apparently you have an ability to select from. Yep, okay. That's interesting. Maybe he's just saying he's a commanding officer. Um, he does have that ability that lets people move once if they've already gone. So I can put someone out in a little bit more dangerous place and then move them back, which is a pretty nice ability. I don't know if that takes up his whole turn if it's done on his first action. Um, it's something we might want to play with with our assault. Run up, take that front shot, and then be able to move back into a, a better position. Okay. I expect this one to be much more smooth than the last. We're still seeing dozens of reported abduction attempts coming in from the cities around the world. We'll be deploying at the site of the latest report. Okay, Central, thanks. It looks like we're going to a freeway. Freeways can be interesting battle sites. Um, it gives a pretty good range usually for snipers. Especially if they give us something that they can climb up on near the beginning, which it didn't doesn't look like they did. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one. Um, we're going to actually push you semi-aggressively forward to here. That did not show anyone. Um, you are also gonna pull a, s aggressively forward, and we see a bunch. That that brought on the mall. Now, currently I have a deep anger of uh, 
of those guys. So we have an 88 that can kill that, a 56, a 56, and a 56. So they're so far back we're only seeing them because of squad sight. So I'm going to take the shot here. which was not quite enough to finish it, but still pretty good. Uh, Beth, you have hollow targeting. I'm just going to pull you up here behind cover. It gives you line of sight at 2. You have an 87% chance of finishing it, or a 57. Let's shoot at this one and get the hollow targeting up, because I figured you would not do quite enough. Um, and then we can bring this guy behind some cover. We have a 91 and a 71. We're going to go ahead and take that 71 and drop it. Now you're a medic. I'm going to pull you around to here, which should give us cover from some of the drones, and you're going to take a shot and finish this guy off. Excellent. Um, you're an infantryman, but you're not probably going to be able to see anything if you move anywhere remotely safe. So I'm just going to dash you around here so that we have eyes on this side at the impeding aliens. Um, now we have a 67 and a 67. We're going to go with the closer one and attempt to prevent them from getting flanks because that's... oh, but he didn't finish it. I'm really looking forward to better guns. <laughs> Uh, we started building them last turn. Uh, they're no longer instant build in the long war. I tell you, the drones have just been mean to me the last couple turns. They're usually like, eh, drones, whatever. But they were, they killed several of my guys last time. And so they are most certainly not a joking matter. And we know that there's some more squidlies around too. Okay, now you have auto targeting and you're further forward. So we're going to go ahead and shoot at this one. You finished it, you left it alive, but you've given people bonuses to hit. Now I'm curious, I'm going to start by putting it into this one. Excellent. Now can you finish the other one off? Because if you can finish both, it, it opens up a lot of potential movement for other troops. Now I have no real reason to move my snipers so we're going to leave them alone for a bit. Um, we're just going to pull you up to here because there's actually a lot of room before this next cover. Um, so I'm actually going to bring you over to here see if we can get eyes on anything. Doesn't look like we can. For you I'm going to pull you over to here, and you're going to overwatch. You... Why not, we'll split the squad in half and send you this direction. Go to overwatch. You're going to move up and you're going to heal him. I'm very disappointed that he got hurt at all. Um, I don't know if that was just armor points or if he'll actually be wounded when we're done with this. So now I could move someone, but I don't want to. I think everyone's in a secure position. Um, so we're just going to overwatch with our two snipers and see if uh, any squiddies show up. And one did. And it died brutally. Apparently it did not like the infantry man or woman that took out two of its robotic buddies and so it was like you need to go down. So we have another squeeze. See that's the problem with this one is they ah oh, they got my dude because of that. Okay. You have uh, eh, you, you put damage on it and then you gotta reload because that's all you gotta do. Now, I'm going to try to finish it with a sniper. It got him off, but it did not finish it. I'm going to leave my other sniper alone for now. And we're going to take the shot with this guy. Shotgun for the win. 
Now that hurt my medic, which is sad. With that in mind, I'm going to take a moment and um, overwatch with the rest. I don't have too many people left. Um, you can actually move forward because you're not going to get any line of sight. Um, you can overwatch. And you can overwatch. I don't want to progress too far forward when I when most of my squad had already gone. If we had only gone with like one of the people, it might have been worth it. Okay. Um, you're going to start by just moving to here and seeing what you see. Okay, you see no one. So I'm going to move you up here into cover. And we have more squids. Unfortunately, I think that's going to put them where my snipers can't actually shoot at them. Never mind, we have some shots. We're going to take a precision shot. We have a 67 and a 67. We'll go for the 67. Not enough to finish it, but we put some damage on it, so we have our other one. Um, we're going to try to finish one because A, it's further away, so other people have trouble seeing it. Oh, he missed. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now you have run and gun. With run and gun, I can put you up to here and get a better shot. You have a shotgun too, so I really want you as far forward as possible. So it was 68 and a 38. Well, we'll obviously go for the 68 and a good chance of death. You've missed. Well, that puts us in a more awkward position, if I do say so. Uh, so we're going to put you right here. We'll overwatch with you. Uh, he's going to move up to here. And he'll take the 60. Well, I'm going to hold off and see if I can get a um, someone with hollow targeting to get a shot off. That plus 10% can really make a difference to the people after it. Of course, if he just finishes it, there's no real problem. Um, so you can just overwatch, which is pretty good. Uh, you're going to move up to here, which will probably not show you anyone. So you're going to overwatch. And we have a stealth mode. Okay. Well, you're going to come behind cover. And you're going to overwatch. Because that dude is coming eventually. Uh, you're going to come to here. Uh, you might as well reload your gun. You're going to come back to here. You're going to reload your gun. You're going to reload your gun. You're going to go on overwatch. Um, you're going to move up a little bit. You're going to go on overwatch. Uh, you don't need to reload yet, so overwatch and overwatch. It's good that the sniper rifles get so many shots. And we'll see if this guy pops out. We hear meld. Okay. Now at this point, we um, we've had a chance to reload a lot of our guns. Uh, we'll put ourselves in a better defensive position, so we can begin progressing forward again. We have two sectoids, and that oh, how do they? Okay, you see one. I was like, how do you not see them? Apparently that car is blocking that one. Well, that's an excellent chance. Go ahead and kill a sectoid. It's one down. Uh, you, I think it's going to go on Overwatch because there's not much else for you to do there. You're going to come around to here and get some cover from that sectoid so you don't get flanked. And you're going to Overwatch because you don't see anyone. Um, you are going to move all the way to here. You're going to move that aggressive movement up. You're going to follow. 
you're just gonna move forward one square for now and overwatch because we have we know there's a squiddy around um, you're gonna come to this full cover you're gonna come to here and you're gonna overwatch so now if he runs around oh he managed to avoid the sniper shot we have some suppression that's okay can my sniper take him out no so you're gonna reload you're also gonna reload you gotta come around here give you a little bit of height oh you don't get to see him from there but we'll overwatch anyways you're suppressed you're gonna come around to here you do not have running gun but I'm gonna move you to here We have a 46% chance of getting him done. That worked. Although he bounced back like he was going to survive. Um, you're just going to move up to here. You're going to overwatch. Watch out for our squiddy friend. You, somewhere out here, is meld. And we should at least make some rough attempt at getting it. So I'm going to pull you up to here. That should not bring up anyone new, but it still gets us closer to the action. Oh, not my infantry woman. Miss. Miss, I tell you. Nope. The worst part about that is it's just an auto injury. I mean, it, it's very poor. Okay, let's see if we can kill this. I'll give the kill to you if possible. Nope, you have one point left. Infantry woman. Kill him. Kill him. Or not. I mean, he was literally in front of your gun. Well, you have another try. Kill him again. Kill him again. Now he's a dodgy little squid. Oh, we got to fire. Get our officer for the rank. Get him up to captain. Okay, I don't know if we got the meld or not. It's possible that it didn't have time to close. We did lose no one. We had a couple of minor injuries, but nothing, nothing even close to to truly damaging. And we come back and see where we're what we're looking at. So we have at least one promotion. Well, thank you, Shin, for telling me that we did, in fact, get that. So we have two. We have, first of all, we have our Lance Corporal Assault. Uh, so let's see what he gets. Uh, never panic as we love getting wounded or allies panicking. That's not terrible. Um, confers a reaction shot with enemy kills within four titles. That is, wait, we can say that. I just want to know what this one is. Uh, we're totally taking this. The ability to shoot you when you come near me is awesome. And then we have our snipers at the next one. We have plus one damage with primary weapon, rocket launchers, and whatnot. Um, plus ten with it, uh, in all scenarios, plus ten against enemies in full cover. That's not bad. So this one is plus ten all the time and plus ten against enemies in full cover versus plus ten if we happen to be above. So I'm just going to take the plus 10 all the time.
because why not? Now, I don't get the defense bonus, but he's usually so far back it doesn't matter. Um, we see there's a lot of fatigue. Fatigue is our, our enemy. Um, I don't mind the idea. I see think the idea is kind of cool, but that's a lot of fatigue. Uh, we have 13 alloys, so we can make two heavy guns. Uh, we got 90 panics decrease in Nigeria, which is good. Um, looking at the situation room, we see that uh, Nigeria is almost down to, to normal. Um, Oh, interesting. They give different bonuses. So the U.S. gives $160 a month, which is really nice. Uh, plus one scientist. Uh, aircraft costs 25 less to purchase and maintain. 25% autopsies and inductions. That's awesome. Um, so the U.S. actually needs to be one of the purchases. Um, and we can start actually building more stuff there. That'll be huge. I, I have to go to Argentina. It doesn't do as much. I'm actually kind of sad that they gave the U.S. the autopsy thing because it was one of the reasons to bother to go to Argentina. Because um, not only do we get air superiority, but we have, we have ways. And so that's huge bonuses. And the plus one scientists I don't really care about, but... We are going to launch the satellite here now. Uh, it'll give us 47 more and a plus one engineer, which is not bad. Um, we have aircraft there that should be good. Can I, let's see what other bonuses we get. They give us the reduction, and that Mexico gives us more reduction and 10% to sonic training training chances, that's not bad. Brazil gives us uh, research credit on interrogations and reduction in power facility costs. Egypt gives us uh, call of arms might be useful. South Africa would have given us plus two defense only prone to cypress and scouts and workshop stuff doesn't matter. 20% reduction in side training is kind of nifty. Uh, the other one doesn't really matter. 15% times uh, to unlock officer training. Mm, that's not. Uh, that sounds terrible. Disruptive stuff. Uh, look here, here we have uh, Wealth of Nations. Monthly XCOM funding increases by 20%. That is amazing. That's what you used to get from being Africa. Money is gold, quite literally. Uh, start with additional satellite, I think, and all satellites cost 50% less to build. We already see that. So that means that it would cost 150 for satellites. Um, France gives us cyber warfare, 20% reduction meld from mech primary weapons and tactical subsystems, and increased funding. Uh, this gives us a 15% reduction in cash, alloy, and alluring requirements from mechs and ship primary weapons, and increased funding. 140 China gives us 130. Uh, we do foundry stuff cheaper. And we get bonuses from aliens and wrecks. That's kind of interesting. Uh, plus two aim for ships and mechs. Well, that I don't care about at all. Yeah, panicking is pretty terrible. We don't want anyone to panic. That's terrible. Our satellite did not do much for them. I, I am concerned. Um, continuing on, India. Uh, Jai Vidwan, plus five research for each lab adjacency. Well, we're not going to build labs, really, so that's not useful. Uh, Australia, plus two bars for newly promoted gunners and rocketeers. Interesting. There must be one of those for everyone, but I think I only saw two for the classes listed. That's interesting. Why does it say one of three? Can I only have three at the moment? 
Okay. So the U.S. is 160. Is that the most? Brazil's a hundred. So building in the US makes a lot of sense. It would give me a hundred and eight additional dollars and it would give me we have ways. Now I'm curious, looking at Argentina. Uh I'm curious if I need to get all the We Have Ways, or each one just does 25%. Also, reducing aircraft and weapons cost by 25% cent, or 25% would be very huge, since I am going to have to focus in on that. Um, if I put a satellite over them, I'm going to need to. I'm going to hold off on that. We, in theory, have a a little bit of time. Uh, let's take a moment um, and go to to mission control and just look at our timelines. Uh, we have 12 days for laser rifles still. We have four days for the council report. So part of me really thinks that I should build or throw up that satellite up there just in case. But if I but then I have to buy satellite. 12 meld for 2, no, uh, I don't think so, meld is, meld, I may have to sell all that meld, um, we're just going to sit on that one, oh, that reminds me, I need to go look at our hangar, do we have these aircraft back, nope, we have 5 and 4 days and 7 days, We're getting some people coming back. That's good because we're going to need people. Uh, one engineer for 12 weapon fragments. Nope, we're not doing that. We have our cancel report. So we have a monthly of 566. We got a B. We lost a satellite, which was very poor. Um, we had two UFOs escape. Yes, shadowy dude. We will try to do better. Um, overall, we're not looking terrible other than Argentina. And I'm assuming if we lose them, we lose their bonus that we're getting from them as well. But it is what it is for now. So we're going to carry on. Uh, let's look at... Um, let's go to building stuff because we have some money. Uh, we have 409 credits. First of all, we need to build items. Um, we're going to look at our Gatling lasers. We're going to manufacture. Oh wait, I want first. I want to go here, and I want satellites. Oh, back, not shivs. Satellites. Uh, go ahead and submit order. That's fine. I apparently do not have enough, which is not good. So, with that in mind, we're going to go build items. We're going to be looking at these. I want the Gatling lasers, and I would like to have two of them because it seems like a great thing to have. Uh, we're going to go ahead and submit the order. We're out of alloys. Uh, back. Now, we're going to go to facilities. How much is it for a satellite relay? 200. So give me like two more, maybe? One to two more. So, looking at how they've changed this, Instead of just needing this row and maybe some of this, I'm going to need this half of the complex to just be satellite uplinks, I think. If I want everyone to have a satellite uplink, and it's basically for every three you get two, so that'd be 
three, four, and then maybe five for a row. And then, so 10, 15, 20. So probably just two to three rows, but basically everything through at least like here will be satellite uplinks. Probably everything in this area, depending on how they do the math. So that means that I'm going to end up having a ton of satellite stuff. It's uh, good that I took Russia and started off with cheaper satellites because that's going to be expensive. Um, we've not looked at the foundry, so for fun, let's take a look at a foundry. Adjustments. Well, that's one thing. Uh, so it's 40 for this. We don't need to do that for a while. Uh, mag pistols. Eh, critical hits with pistols we don't really use. How do these help in natural con in the Oh That is huge. Getting all these extra things would be awesome. It's expensive. Let's say this one. Now that we have someone ascending with these wonderful alien materials, we believe we can use them to develop techniques to extract 20% more alien alloys from our salvage teams we back. So we need metallurgy and salvage quickly. What is ballistics? Maybe gives us a bonus hit with our rifles. That would also be huge. Uh, alien metallurgy in this need to be high up. I just need so many more alloys. Which means I have to be able to shoot down alien ships because that's where you get the giant amount of alloys from. So, gives us goals. Um, if we don't have enough money at this point to buy more things, I am tempted to sell a ton of meld uh, to just buy what I feel I need. But we're going to hold off. Um, looking at this, we're two days until that happens, and I think five days after that, like sometime around this point in here, uh, before our sh our planes are actually ready to go. Uh, so, getting people back. Ooh, we have some aircraft returned to service. We're going to return here. Uh, we need to go in and view the aircrafts. So both of you, oh, they'll be ready in 14 hours. First of all, before I transfer anywhere, we're going to give you... What the heck? I thought I had built four Phoenix Cannons, and I only built two Phoenix Cannons? I seem to have only built two. Um, still, I'm going to transfer you to where I have... I'm going to transfer you to North America because I am actually likely to put my next satellite in the US. Um, it gives me ways and me means and ways, which is faster interrogation, and it decreases the cost of all this stuff so I can actually build them more cheaply. Um, aircrafts and stuff were not a really a huge thing in the previous one, and the long war has made them pretty big. So, We now have ships and stuff. Ooh, we have abductions. Um, we have several people returned. We have armed with Phoenix cannons. So we can actually try to fight some. 120. You see that 20% bonus we received. This says heavy uh, Mexico. So get some bonuses going in North America. Um, with this money, I'm probably going to try to buy another ship to build in... Uh, in South America. Um, I think 
I really need four ships in both places I'm gonna be putting my satellites and so that means spending money on that and potentially putting up the thing in the US sooner okay well at this point we're gonna go ahead and end the video um, next time we're gonna have a heavy mission so it's gonna be a little more difficult um, we have been seeing people returning to it so hopefully we'll have a good team going forward I actually think that we'll be able to send a lot of our main characters who were fatigued from the previous one and even maybe some of those really injured people will be back in the lineup to, to send forward uh, definitely there are our captain sniper or lieutenant two sniper um, will be ready and well and to go so we're going to go to end the video here uh, subscribe to see if you are future content like the video so that more people can see it if you don't mind and uh, if you have any questions or comments just leave them below and I will I'll be checking to see if there's anything I can uh, respond to um, otherwise uh, have a great day and I'll talk to you later